welcome to Here's My Story. I'm Chloe. There I was in my room, surrounded by my study notes for tomorrow's big test, when I heard a knock. Mom, door, I shouted, then remembered she wasn't home. I slowly opened the door, but no one was there. Just this mysterious envelope on the ground. What could this be? I thought, heading back to my room. Inside the envelope was a piece of paper, all official looking and typed out. It read, Dear Chloe, there's a big secret your parents are hiding. Don't ask them. They'll just lie. You have to uncover it. I froze. What on earth? I whispered to myself. Staring at the strange note, I couldn't shake off a scary thought. Am I adopted? This seemed like the only explanation. Maybe someone who knew the truth sent me this note to give me a heads up. I dug out an old photo album from the bottom of my closet to clear my doubts. Mom had put this album of my baby photos together. Flipping through it, I saw everything. Mom's pregnancy, my birth in the hospital, my first birthday, even the moment I took my first steps. There was proof of every milestone. No way I was adopted, right? Just then, the door creaked open. Mom's head popped in. Honey, dinner's ready. Oh, are you looking at your old photos? (laughs) Aren't they wonderful? Daddy's on his way. Let's look at that album together after dinner. I was so deep in thought about the note and the album that I hadn't heard mom enter the house. I forced a smile and said, thanks mom, I'll be right down. At dinner, dad broke the silence. How was school? Usually I'd tell him all about my day, the good, the bad, and the funny. But tonight my mind was still racing with thoughts about that note. I could barely muster a response. It was fine. Mom looked up surprised. Is everything okay, honey? She asked with a hint of concern. I nodded, but mom's worried eyes told me she wasn't convinced. I had to say something. I've got an exam tomorrow. I'm just a bit stressed about it, I explained, hoping it sounded believable. I spent the whole night staring at that mysterious paper, trying to crack its code. What family secret could be so big that it's about me? That's when it hit me. The key wasn't just in the secret, but in finding out who sent me this note. They knew something. But who could it be? I started piecing together the clues. The note wasn't handwritten. It was a printout. They probably didn't want me recognizing their handwriting, I thought. And the note was left when mom wasn't home. This person knew I was alone. Could it be a relative? Mom was an only child, and her parents, my grandparents, sadly passed away in a sea accident before I was born. Dad's family, including my only uncle, lived in Sweden. Maybe a friend of my parents? But mom and dad aren't the social butterfly types. They hardly have any friends. I needed to find out who sent the note, but how? It was like looking for a needle in a haystack. There I was, lost in thought, when my eyes landed on the envelope on the table. (gasps) The envelope! It might have the fingerprints of the person who left it. The note had been in my hands for days, covered in my fingerprints. But I had barely touched the envelope. It was like something straight out of a crime drama, a real piece of evidence. With excitement bubbling inside me, I grabbed my phone and dialed Aurora. Her dad was a policeman, and she was always talking about detective stuff. She was the one who could definitely help. Hey, Aurora, it's me, Chloe, I said as soon as she picked up. I need your help with something. Within half an hour, I found myself in Aurora's room, my heart pounding with nerves and excitement. I quickly spilled the whole story to her, showing the envelope, now safely tucked in a plastic bag. Aurora's eyes widened with intrigue as she examined it. This is like something out of a mystery movie. Dad can access the police fingerprint database from his computer, but before that, we've got some detective work to do. She whipped out her laptop and quickly typed how to collect fingerprints at home into YouTube. The search results popped up right away. This is exactly what we need. I love you, YouTube, Aurora (laughs) said with a giggle. He clicked on the first video and leaned in close to the screen. Three videos later, we gathered enough tips and tricks to start our fingerprint collection adventure. Aurora started gathering everything we needed to lift fingerprints from around her house. A makeup brush, some baby powder, scotch tape, and a piece of dark paper. It was just like a DIY detective kit. It was a bit tough, but we managed. After a few hours, we had something to show for our efforts. Check this out! Three different sets of prints, Aurora said excitedly. I looked closely, a realization dawning on me. One of these is mine, but who do the other two belong to? Could there have been two people behind this note? (gasps) Now came the critical part of our plan. To match these prints, we had to use the police database, but that meant waiting for Aurora's parents to be asleep. I texted my mom quickly. Staying at Aurora's tonight, working on a project, love ya. We prepared for the next step, our anticipation mounting as the house grew quiet. 
Aurora slipped out of the room for a moment and returned, cradling her father's laptop. My heart raced as she booted up the laptop and clicked fingerprint scan. The screen read, connecting to database, prompting a nervous giggle from both of us. We started with the first fingerprint, snapping a photo and uploading it. The database search seemed to take forever. Finally, no match found flashed on the screen. Disappointment washed over us. Aurora explained, this is normal. The database is for criminal fingerprints. Ordinary people's prints aren't here. Maybe it was yours. Feeling a twinge of disappointment, we proceeded to the second fingerprint. The process repeated, and again, no match found, appeared on the screen. As Aurora prepared to photograph the last fingerprint, I hesitated. Maybe we should stop. It seems pointless. But Aurora wasn't about to give up. Let's check the last one. What do we have to lose? The search took another long five minutes. Then, to our utter shock, a match found appeared on the screen. We both (laughs) screamed. Aurora clicked to reveal the match, and when a photo of a much younger version of my mom popped up on the screen, we screamed again, this time in disbelief. I gazed at the screen. No way. How could my mom's print be on this? On the envelope with that creepy note about my parents hiding a secret. Then my eyes caught more info on the screen. Beside my mom's name, it said offense, and right under that, shoplifting. Shoplifting? Seriously? After discovering the truth, I knew I couldn't wait till morning. Our houses were just a block apart, so I could make it back home even late at night. Aurora was as shocked as I was. Without my keys, I kept ringing the doorbell to get their attention. The door swung open, revealing Dad's concerned face with Mom peering over his shoulder, wearing expressions of fear and confusion. Chloe, what's wrong? Are you okay? Mom asked, her voice laced with panic. No, Mom. Everything's not okay. We need to talk now. I read the note aloud. There's a big secret your parents are keeping from you. If you ask them, they will lie to you. You must reveal this secret. Pausing for a moment to let the words sink in, I turned to mom, my frustration evident. Mom, why would you send this note secretly (gasps) if it's your secret? I accused. Mom looked at me, her face blank with shock. I, I didn't send that note. I was furious. Don't lie, Mom. Your fingerprints were on the envelope, and I found out about your shoplifting record. But that's not what I'm here for. I need to know the real secret, the big one you've kept hidden. Tears started streaming down Mom's face. I didn't send the note, Chloe. Yes, I shoplifted when I was young, but it was out of necessity. That's when Dad stepped in. Chloe, I sent you the note. I used an old envelope from your mother's study, so her prints were on it. He turned to Mom. I'm sorry but Chloe deserves to know the truth. Mom nodded, wiping her tears. You're right. (laughs) Chloe, it seems you're quite the detective. I'm sorry we kept this from you. Then, studying herself, she began to unravel the years of secrecy. I haven't been honest about your grandparents. When I was 17, I returned from a trip with my mom. That night, she discovered my dad, your grandfather, with another woman. He wasn't remorseful. Instead, he threw us out. We were left with nothing, living on the streets. It was a harsh winter, and my mom felt ill. It was during that desperate time that I was caught stealing food from a grocery store. I was just trying to feed my sick mother. Mom's tears filled her eyes. In desperation, I went to my father, begging for help for my sick mother. But he heartlessly refused us any aid. Without his help, my mother couldn't survive the harshness of the streets. I was filled with so much hatred towards my father. I never saw him again after that day. But years later, he showed up at our door full of regret, but I couldn't forgive him. After his death, his lawyer found us. It turned out he had become very wealthy and left everything to you, his only grandchild. So, Chloe, you're a billionaire. (laughs) I kept it from you because I didn't want that money in this house, but you'll be 18 soon. It's your money, and you have to decide whether you want it. Tears streamed down my face as I wrapped my arms around my mother. My heart ached for her suffering and for the grandmother I never met, who died alone on the streets. I whispered, we won't let a single penny of that inheritance into this house. We'll start a foundation with it dedicated to helping the poor, the sick, and those without homes. It's the right way to use my grandfather's money, to bring some good into the world. Mom hugged me closer, crying softly. Dad wrapped his arms around us. I'm proud of you, my daughter, he said softly. (laughs) Standing there with Mom and Dad, I felt a strong sense of unity, like we were a team. The secret I found out wasn't just sad anymore. It was going to help a lot of people. 
We are going to turn our family's tough times into something good, something that would help others who needed it. (laughs) 